Hi, I'm Lou Marquez for the International Training and Research Center. I'm here with Andrew again, and we've already gone ahead and drilled up a new ball. We've got him fitted. We've got everything customized to his hand. But now he's got to get the feel and the action of that ball onto the lane. And we're going to work on a basic drill to kind of help him understand a little bit about his release and kind of perfect that for the first time, you know, that you're rolling this. So I'm going to give you some basic drills to okay. kind of help you develop your technique. And we're gonna go and grab your ball and go up to the foul line and get this thing going. We wanna get that hand action going the right way so that you can develop your game and take it to that next level with your new piece of equipment. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'll meet you at the foul line. All right. So Andrew, what we're gonna do is first off is try to get into a good athletic position here at the, at the finish. Okay. And we wanna talk about balance a little bit so that you can be stable enough to swing this ball and get it off your hand comfortably without feeling like the weight is gonna shift you off balance. So one of the things that a lot of bowlers will do to gain good control of their balance at the finish position is to have their knee over the toe of their shoe okay. um, using a little bit of flexibility and then clear that right hip. We want to clear that right leg, move it out of the way and get it to a comfortable position where they can actually allow the swing to stay close to their side of their body, okay. getting it closer to the center of gravity. So while you're developing that idea, we want to get, make sure that that trail leg is out of the way. Okay. okay? Now, go ahead and get your hand in the ball, get it comfortable, Okay. all right? And we want to keep that hand stable. We want to keep this wrist stable right here. Keep it firm and natural. And then as you go ahead and swing this ball, the exit point of that thumb is going to happen here by the back of your shoe. Right in this area here is going to want to relax the thumb. Okay. And then the fingers will then want to try to roll the ball out in front. So for now, while you're developing your technique and learning how to roll that ball off your hand, I want to give you a basic little target right here on the, on the lane. Okay. I want you to feel that you can roll the ball comfortably and gently into this part of the lane, about a foot over the foul line. Okay. And just kind of roll it off your hand and let your arm continue its motion okay. after you release it. So let's get into that finished position comfortably. Use that left arm out for balance to give you a counterbalance. Go ahead and swing it back a couple of times and then let it relax and then let that thumb release okay. and let it roll. Okay, good. Okay, so there's a fairly straight type of technique. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how you developed your technique before. That was your old way of understanding your bowling technique. But what I want to show you is something how to develop a rotation on with your hand and okay. get that curve going. Because we do have a dynamic ball. Right. We don't want this ball always going straight. Right. Okay, so we're going to take our hand and we're going to use our thumb as a guide and our fingers. And what I want you to think about is rotating the hand as if you're trying to open a door. You're trying to rotate a doorknob. Just kind of okay. just rotate that. Rotate those fingers, okay, around the back of the ball. Okay. I don't want to turn the wrist. I don't want to see you turn and prematurely get this going because a lot of people tend to want to use their elbow to help them turn. Okay. I just want you to use your wrist action to rotate the ball. Okay. okay. Got so it. Let's go ahead and grab our ball again. We'll do that same thing from the foul line. Okay. Okay, so like turning a doorknob, you said. Yeah, it's kind of the idea. If you think okay. of your front of your house or a closet door or something like that, you're rotating a doorknob, right? Okay. You rotate it normally to the right. Yeah. Open it. We're going to do it the opposite way, counterclockwise for a right-hander. Got it. Okay. Okay. So finish position like this. Yeah. Double balance. Nice and easy. We're going to swing it. Okay. Keeping that wrist firm and then just rotate it. Right idea. Okay, so it's only your second shot yeah. <laughs> going into this, okay? So we gotta perfect a few things, but yeah. the idea behind it, that motion, is what I want you to think about it. Okay. Now we got a lot more shots to go. Right. Okay, right. so generally most of my customers are here for several minutes working on perfecting this idea. But I also want you to think about how does that ball feel when you exit out of it? Do you feel any obstruction? Things like that that we need to kind of adjust. Okay. You know, until it's perfect, you you tell me. You know, and that's what we, I want to make sure about. We're far okay. from perfect, but I got the general idea. Got it. So. Okay. Let's go and do this one more time. Okay. Let's go ahead and put our fingers in the ball. Want to set our fingers in. Want to set our thumb in. Good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. We got that all set. Let's go ahead and get into your finish position. And I want to just to kind of be aware of where things should happen. So, yeah. like we said before, we're going to get to a point where the thumb is going to relax here, and it's usually generally at about behind your heel of your shoe. Okay. And then by that time, we're going to then rotate the thumb, rotate the hand, 
keeping that thumb as straight as possible Got as it exits forward. We don't want to turn the wrist, and I think okay. that's what happens to a lot of people. They get, you know, a little too quick in turning right. instead of rotating. And that's what we want to do, develop that rotation. rotation. Okay, so okay. go ahead and get set again in the ball. Okay. No, while holding it, kind of, your hand gets a little tired here. Yeah. A little bit. So, you got to get comfortable so we're, we're with that. we're talking about the back of the heels where this happens? Exactly. Okay. So, we got to get set with balance, get that right leg out of the way, get, it, get the right hip to clear. Okay. We're working on our balance, counterbalance, there you go. So, right Just keeping that here. wrist stable, keep that wrist firm. So, we want to actually that's right now that wrist is open. Mm -hmm. We want to keep it firm. There oh, you go. There, there you go. Okay. Like kind of like doing a little curl there. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Right Take a big here. swing here. Okay. Okay. Kind of held Stuck on a little, a little too bit. long, right? Yeah. And a lot of times when we have a new ball, people are still learning how to adjust their grip pressure. So they're still trying to fight that issue. Mm -hmm. I want you to think of it as a delicate little, like a little bird in your hand. Okay. We don't want to squeeze the life out of it, but we don't want gotcha. to kill this thing. Right? I was, I was so it's killing it. Yeah, you're killing it. You're, <laughs> you're used to the gym work, so that's one of the things with light grip pressure. Okay. okay. Let's do it again. Okay. Okay. Setting the, the fingers, fingers in. Set. Yep. Okay. Finish position. Good finish position right there. Nice and relaxed. Yeah, and you're trying to just target right there. Just trying to relax it and just let it roll. Okay. Let it land softly into the leg. So you've got to kind of plan the drop. Plan the drop. Okay. All right. And relax. There you go. Really good. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, Came off better. a lot cleaner, didn't it? Did. It? A little yeah. easier. Yeah. Yes. I relaxed a little more and yeah. it just fell exactly. right off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what we want to do is that idea, we want to start taking that idea and thought in how you relax that thumb and how you rotated the fingers. Mm -hmm. And we want to now extend the arm further down the lane. So that'll give us that follow through idea with the swing. Okay. And now we start giving it more direction. Not only are we giving a rotation right now, but we're going to give it a direction onto the lane. Okay. okay. So I'll let you work on that idea a little bit and kind of develop that. Okay. Okay. Get yourself set. Good. Why don't we just scoot up a little bit more? Sure. Just kind of get a little closer. There you go. Excellent. Okay. And this time we're going to take a swing. So we're going to actually push it away from our body, let it come back, and let it come through. So we're going to try and do it just all in one motion. Okay. So pushing it away from you, and then letting it drop. Pushing it away. Yep. Then we're coming back. And yep. And then releasing. Okay. okay. So we want to do it in one continuous motion. Gotcha. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. See how that was easier yeah. now? Yeah, it was. Come off your hand. Okay. So that idea is where we're going to start to develop your technique. Okay. So. Let's try and keep it on the lane, somewhere yeah. in the middle. It's <laughs> a good idea. So typically when I'm working with an athlete, you know, and we've got a new ball, it doesn't matter whether they were a new bowler or whether they were an advanced bowler, they usually go through this process for quite some time. Okay. Until they can actually understand a little bit more about how their grip pressure is in the ball, how they're releasing it, whether we need to make some adjustments, and then getting them accustomed to the new fit. Because generally what we do is, is as we drill a new ball for a customer, we're kind of making some alterations in the pitches, and that's... Sometimes for bowlers, that's, that's a big culture shock. It's a big yeah. change for them. So what they've learned in the past, how much to squeeze versus what they need to have now, can sometimes be that memory. And yeah. sometimes it's, that it's not fun. To get, that muscle yeah. memory can kind of get involved here. And we kind of got to ease into it. So you're still learning yours. Right. But I like what you just had before. Okay. So. okay. Trying to just yeah. get so my nice continuous motion. So motion let's just bring it back. Get. Just bring it back, let it go, and just let the hand just relax and rotate. Okay. Very good. Very, very good. Okay? And here we go. Look at that. So no more straight ball. <laughs> Notice that the curve. Easy. Yeah, I did. That is the dynamics in the ball and what you created that ball to do. So your hand action started that internal right. gyration of that weight block getting into a certain orbit and it started creating that shape on the wow. lane. So that's the power that you have now. So wow. it just gives you some insight into what you can do with your hand. Yeah, now yeah, that's something I've never done before. Yeah, Making yeah. Like so that. that's where the fun is, <laughs> learning how to control that. Right, now yeah. So, good job. Thank you, sir. Appreciate All right. it.